Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to those of you who are joining me for the first time. Today I'm gonna keep it in the prom zone again. Looking for something sultry and classic. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, continue to watch. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. So let's go. A moisturizer my face with the Clark's Deep Moisture Mask and it's also a moisturizer. And I go in with my LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Face Primer. Then moving on to my eyebrows, I'm sculpting them out with the Clean Color Brow Pomade. And I'm just going in, making that arch nice and crisp. You want to add your concealer, the shade in which you prefer. I'm using the medium beige and I'm taking my angled brush. I'm feathering it down, then I'm going to take a fluffy blender brush and blend out that concealer. So you just want to blend, blend, blend. The key to all of this is just blending the product out. So taking my black opal concealer in tan, I'm just adding that to my lids because as you can see I have a lot of discoloration. So I'm just blending that all in, making sure that I have a nice coated canvas to work with. So now using that palette from Santee I'm just taking that orange and brown shades and I'm adding those to my crease area then going into this NYX or NYX adorable palette I'm taking the deepest brown and I'm adding that under the colors that I added before using the NYX jumbo white pencil I'm adding a coat of that onto my lid so that my color that I'm going in with can pop you know you want that color to be very prominent on your lid so I'm just packing that on with a flat shade of brush and then I'm using a smaller detailed brush and I'm just going into my outer V and adding some of that black from the Revealed 2 palette. Blend, blend, blend ladies, blend. So using this concealer and it's the same medium beige that I used to clean up my brow area, I'm now using that to cover up some of my marks discoloration that I have in my face. Taking a flat top kabuki brush and I'm just blending that concealer out into my skin. So taking my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer and I'm preparing my beauty sponge and I'm just blending that out into my skin and it's very full coverage. I'm loving this. This is my first time actually using this product so I'm very pleased. On the consistency and how well it covers up all of my blemishes and imperfections so using the same flat top kabuki I'm just blending this out into my skin so using my LA girl high definition pro concealer I'm just taking this and going underneath my eyes, my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and chin to highlight the areas that I want to attract light to. Bringing some definition to my face. So I'm blending that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Love this sponge. And then going in with that same kabuki brush and blending that concealer out into my skin. Now I'm going in with the black opal neutral light setting powder and I'm just setting my highlighted areas. And don't be afraid of all of this powder ladies. Later on you're gonna see that I'm gonna dust all of that away. All of the excess powder will be dusted away from the skin leaving such a beautiful beautiful look so I'm taking my covergirl queen ebony bronzer and I'm just sculpting out my contour and I'm just warming up the face because with all of that powder you don't want to look too flat you have to bring some definition back to the face taking this black opal finishing deluxe powder I'm just setting my face the black radiance powder I'm contouring my nose Adding some color to my cheeks, I'm using the NYX Cinnamon Blush. Then to bring some color back to my eyes, I'm just going to take the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and I'm just going to use that orange shade to just make the eyes pop even more. 
Now I'm using the next jumbo pencil and black bean to line my waterline. So bringing some drama back to the eyes, I'm just sculpting out my wing liner and I'm using this very black liquid liner from Amuse. So I'm outlining my lips and I'm going in with Jordana's Pink Passion Lipstick. And then I'm taking my Mary Kay Volumizing Lash Mascara and I'm just bringing some definition to those lashes and I'm popping on some falsies y'all look at that mm -hmm. Steve in the house so you want to make sure that your glue is dry to a tacky consistency and then take your lash curler when you already pop those girls on you want to take your lash curler and just curl them Now this part is optional but I'm just going to go in with the Coastal Sand Sun Tones Bronzer in the color light and I'm just going to add some highlight to the high points of my face. Just a subtle glow, nothing too intense but like I said before it's optional, you don't have to do it. So that is it, please enjoy the modeling section and thank you again for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys, love you.